Hello, this is Daniel Davis with JesuitNet, and this is a quick tutorial on how to use the free software Gantt Project. First of all, you need to go to the website www.gantproject.biz. That's .biz. Once you go there, just go to, you'll be taken directly to the download Gantt Project. Click on that for Windows, or if you have a Mac, you want to download the Mac. I'm going to download for Windows. Once it's fully downloaded, double click on the software. Install it like you would any other sort of software. Use all the defaults. and then open Gantt Project. When you first open up Gantt Project, it will look like this. You'll want to first create a new project. You want to name that new project. I'm going to name it Example. Click next and next again. As a default, it doesn't use Saturday and Sunday as work days. Ignore the public holidays. They're for other countries. And press OK. Now, to get started, make sure that you save your project. We're just going to call this example one. Press save. So you go to your blank screen right here and just double click and automatically a task will come up. I'm going to say create project files. Hit return, click on it again. Now the dates that you put it in are going to be the dates that you actually uh, have entered it. You obviously don't want those dates because it's in a, a, a future project. So you just go over here to the timeline, double click on it, this box will pop up and it'll ask you to put in the begin date and the end date. So I'm going to go into here to show calendar and I'm going to choose a date in June, let's say June 7th. End date I'm going to say June 11th of that week. Now you can color code according to uh, groups or persons. I'm just going to color this a light blue. Duration is four days. Let's say the priority is low. Press OK, and it automatically goes to those dates. OK, let's go ahead and create another one. I'm going to double click. Here comes the new project. I'm going to type in choose project participants. consider this very important so I'm going to put the priority as high and I'm going to choose my dates let's say 14th and that's let's make this a two-week project so it'll end on the 28th I'm going to color it let's say a deep blue to differentiate it now if I want to connect it to a predecessor job that needs to be finished, so I'm, I'll click on predecessor up here. And right here, it'll have ID, task name, type. You want to click there and connect to the prior job that you wanted completed. So the only job that's available right now is create project file. So I'm going to click on that. And now the it's officially a predecessor. If you if there's any sort of web page that is related to this job, you want to put that in here, then press OK. And automatically, it marks the first job as the predecessor. Let's try one more. I'm going to double click. Up pops the box. I'm going to type in 
compile board studies. I choose a color, let's say black. Okay. I'm going to give a July start date. And let's just make this one week in duration. I want the predecessor to be the very last job, so I'll go to the predecessors tab, click there, choose the predecessor that I want it connected to. Go back to general, make sure everything's okay. And finally press OK. If you notice, automatically Saturday and Sundays are marked off the calendar as non-working days. Now, once you have created your Gantt project for the class, you want to go ahead, save it, and you want to export it as a JPEG, which is a common uh, graphic file on uh, both PCs and Macs. So I'm going to go up to Project, Export. The default is Ping. Not everyone can read a ping, so you want to choose JPEG, choose Next, choose the file where you would like to save the file. I'm going to keep it right here. If you wanted to uh, browse to a different location, you would just click the folder. Here's what it's going to be named, example1.jpg. Press OK, and it automatically exports the JPEG to that folder. You want to then take that JPEG and email it to your instructor to complete the assignment. And this is Daniel Davis with JesuitNet. Thank you.